do you think there's actually a technique to scribble art? I say yes. Let me show you some basics. Take your pencil and go back and forth, back and forth, maybe a curved or straight line. Just like it sounds, this first pointer is what I call back and forth. I use this to emphasize a line or a small curve. The next is loopy loo. Just like it sounds, take your pencil, go in loops on the paper. I usually don't pick up my pencil for this at all. You can do big loops, little loops. The more you layer, the darker it gets. But loopy loo can get a little boring. So let me introduce you to tangled yarn. Tangled yarn is kind of like looping, but suddenly stopping, zigzagging the other way, scribbling at its finest. This is the one I default to the most. I love this technique of tangled yarn. I wanna encourage you to practice this one a lot. Get your hand loose and free, hold your pencil super loose to keep it flowing and get yourself going with this. And don't forget, the more you layer, the darker it gets for shadows. You might be familiar with the sketching technique of cross hatching, where you make little lines and you cross other lines. Well, this is what I call scratch hatching, where you scribble a line and cross it over with another scribble. I use this to emphasize darker shadows, little spots that I really want to deepen. Scratch hatching. And you can also do that long scratching where you basically scratch along a shadow, lengthening what you're doing, maybe making it smaller to create a perspective. And then I do swirl scratching, which is basically loops. I did this in the apple. I don't know if you remember the scribble apple we did in a couple videos back, but this was what I did in the leaf of the apple. And then, of course, long tangles. So sometimes I don't want to go back and forth emphasizing a line, but I'll do a really long tangle and I'll go over and over to create a depth of the layer. Definitely practice your tangled yarn technique the most. Now I'm going to scribble a picture of my daughter. And I like to start with just a basic sketch to give myself the proportions. And then I go through and I block off areas that are going to be darker and lighter. So you're going to see me create circles on the cheeks. Those tell me to keep them light with no scribbles or markings within those highlights. And then I'm making darkest spots where her eyelashes and lips are because those are going to be really deep, dark areas. And I use a variety of all the techniques that I showed you. The back and forth, back and forth along her face. I use loopy loos and tangled yarn in the hair. And then I go back in and I make, I make that long, the long swirls and the short swirls and a little bit of the scratch hatching. You can see the scratch hatchings definitely in the eyelashes. And I do this in a variety, like however the, the picture moves me. You want to go with your feelings. Scribble art is really about letting out emotions. It felt so good to do this. Even if the finished product isn't perfect, it just felt so good to let it out and super fun to practice. And so, you know, I went over and over the ink in the spots that you layer, create the shadow. In the spots that you don't, create the highlight. And that's what art is all about, is studying the depth and the highlight. And so I just invite you, you can do this with pencil or Sharpie. I worked from this watercolor of my daughter. You don't even need a photograph. Yes, I did it from a painting. And so you can grab a painting or a picture and just have fun scribbling. Enjoy.